Hello there and welcome to another Tech Zonk video here. Uh, this is one of my Game Zonk series. We're looking at a homebrew game. This one is called Bird Poop. I just wanted to pause there and let you think about that one, let it soak in. This game is called Bird Poop and it was one that I found on AtariAge.com because it is a homebrew. It is uh, made for the Atari 2600 using the Batari basic language and it was inspired by a gentleman who was uh, walking his pet and encountered lots of goose poop out on the ground and said, you know, all this dodging of goose poop might make a good game. It was a pretty interesting thread, actually. He was uh, uh, taking some feedback from the people on the forum and making adjustments to uh, things like uh, an increase in speed. Uh, he was changing uh, colors based on feedback he was getting when he was piping it through his VCR. Turns out people still have VCRs, which I actually found almost as fascinating as this game. Um, but uh, I like seeing it uh, sort of come together as a result of feedback. So let's go ahead and play this game, see what it's like. I'll go ahead and press the button to get it started here, and off we go. So uh, it, you know, when you first look at it, it looks like a relatively simple game, all right? Like not a whole lot going on here, um, but it's uh, it's a bit deceiving. Now I'm only going up and down here. The button, uh, what does the button do? The button, okay, don't press the button. The button restarts the game. So my bad, lesson learned. Uh, so the button restarts the game, but uh, your controls here are basically up and down, up and down. You want to avoid stepping in the bird poop. And of course, that's what these little white blocks are. Now, you probably noticed that I just did speed up. So as time goes by, you uh, you earn points, but you uh, you continue to um, you continue to earn points as, as time goes by. And I think it's every interval of 10. It increases in speed. So you have to avoid it as it uh, approaches you. So evidently, the, the increase in speed, I guess, suggests that your person's walking a little bit faster. I guess that's what the idea is. Now you'll notice it actually starts to get a little fast here. And it becomes sort of difficult to talk and play at the same time because it gets pretty speedy. Now what I'm not totally sure of is what the uh, collision uh, uh, logic is here. Like, I don't know if it's just if it hits my character's feet or if it hits the pants. So, you know, you'll see me like right here, you'll see me sort of overcorrect sometimes, and that's just because I don't want to, I don't want to get touched by this thing at all. I just gotta always sort of avoid it. Now it actually does start to get fast here. See that? It gets fast. That's my score. Let's try again. And when you try again, you definitely notice that it starts out awfully slow. Now one of the things is, you know, as you're going through and you're getting, you're getting snagged, right? You'll step in the bird poop. You'll notice that you've got these four squares here at the bottom. Those represent the number of lives that you've got. And you'll see them quickly tick away. I mean, there's not a whole lot of notice that you've actually lost a life. You hear a very faint sound, and you'll see that you'll lose one of your lives down there. And that's when you step in the bird poop. So it's very subtle, but it does happen. So let's see if we can... I mean, I don't want to do it deliberately because, of course, I'm trying to get a... You know, a respectable score at this game. Now you'll see the scores that I get in this game and you'll think, geez, these are low scores. You know, this guy's no good at this game. But definitely download this game and try it. It is surprisingly difficult. It It's deceiving at the start because it's a very sort of slow, simple game at the beginning, but you can see it starts to speed up and that's where it gets difficult. So it's classified as a continuous runner and I see a lot of games that are built in Batari Basic sort of following that standard. Atari Basic can do a lot more than Continuous Runners, but I think that Continuous Runners, because they're sort of a popular genre now on the mobile platform, it's a really, you see, I'm, I'm losing my lives here. Hold on, let's see if we can pay attention to the, the sound of a lost life here. And we'll come up here. I don't have too much faith in myself. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it is. All right, start again. Start again. So that's my score, 83. That is a uh, respectable score, believe it or not. Let's see if we can beat it. But yeah, the continuous genre or the continuous running genre is is one that's popular, and I think because it introduces a lot of you know potentially uh, looping constructs and some some uh, randomization that uh, are are good sort of starting points for new developers, and I think that's why we see a lot of uh, these Batari basic games sort of adopting the whole continuous runner thing. That's uh, 
at least my theory on it anyway. I haven't actually talked to any of these guys. But, uh, you know, a lot of the things that I've looked at in Batari Basic, uh, you know, I've sort of followed that format. Not everything, though. If I'll, and I'll link to a video uh, in my description of uh, the Gizzlewap and the Strange Red Tree. It was very unique. Did not follow a continuous running format. It was definitely very unique, sort of uh, adventure action type of game. But uh, there was Flappy Bird. There was uh, the one that I looked at last week, the Flying Walrus one. And then, of course, there's this one. All right, well, we're speeding up. We're speeding up. Here we go. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, this game doesn't look hard. But it is. You should try it. You can sort of come up with a strategy. If you sort of stay low to the screen, you can, for the most part... I got nailed fast on that one, but you can, for the most part, if you stay low to the screen, avoid the ones that are at the top without even having to move, and then just worry about moving whenever you see them come across at the bottom. And that was a strategy that I was employing just now, but obviously that doesn't always work. My suspicion is, oh, I don't really know, I haven't seen the code, is that they're using some sort of a randomizing function. They're randomly placing the bird poop on a specific axis. Uh, within a range, of course, because, you know, it's not everywhere on the screen. It's only just on the walkway. So it's completely random. There's not necessarily a pattern. All right. So we're starting off slow again. We'll eventually get to a point where it picks up speed. We'll make this. Let's see if we can make this our final game and see if we can end on a respectable note. Although I don't have very much faith in myself. When I set myself up for stuff like that, it doesn't always work out. So I'm trying to follow my strategy now. So I'm staying towards the bottom. You know, and I even though that, there was one that was sort of in the middle, sort of in the middle on the bottom, but I wasn't too sure about, you know, what is the collision like? You know, what does it have to hit in order for me to actually lose a life? I'm not sure about that. All right, so now we're picking it up. Here's where talking and playing at the same time becomes somewhat challenging. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. All right, I'm at four lives right now. I'm doing good. Uh, it's tough, trust me. All right, here we go. Staying at the three. Doing good. Ah, nailed. Ah, it's hard. Ah, terrible. I didn't have to do, I'd have to jump on that last one. Anyway, that's the game. Very, very, very straightforward, but one that I definitely wanted to show because it, again, it is another homebrew game for the Atari 2600. It was built in Batari Basic, a really terrific framework that allows you to create games on the Atari 2600 and have them uh, w without having to worry about assembly, which is terrific. And these are games that you can actually eventually distribute on a cartridge if you wanted to. Very cool stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see all of you in the next one.